Hello everyone, it's Cleo here, and today we're going to be looking at all the concept art released so far for the Mild Pony G5 movie. Today I'm joined by... Nerdy Nom Nom. I've put all the pictures into separate organised folders and there's timestamps below for the different sections of these pictures so we don't get confused or bogged down along the way. First up we have all the concept images for the main six. These ones are absolutely adorable. I love how finished they look. They look actually like art you might find at kind of a pony convention or something. Yeah, I mean, if they released an art book for the film, then this is the kind of stuff you'd want to see in there. It would be fantastic. It looks like Sprout's game took a turn for the worse here. Yeah, it's just a kind of a different iteration of the same scene there, I guess. Here's the concept for Applejack and all her different expressions and poses here. In the uh, 2D art style from the film's opener, which would be a really great choice for the TV show, uh, I'm just saying. It really saying. would. I don't know if they're going to use that for the TV show, but they probably should. Over being just crummier 3D, it would be better to just make it 2D so you can't really see the budget drop. Here we have all the expressions for Fluttershy. Look at this concerned one here, poor Aww. baby. Look at her. Look at this little angel. Oh, her Cinderella look. Obviously, in the film, they basically ended up using this. This is barely concept art so much as just... This is basically just the character sheets. These are reference models. Here's Pinkie Pie! All the crazy expressions you'd expect. I like the scribbles at the top better than the final image, actually. Yeah, rough art always looks good. Rainbow Dash. Yeah, nothing too much to say about these. These are good kind of like exercise drawings of different expressions. Evil rarity though, look. Now this is this is better. This is what we this is what we're looking for. I love how 50% of it is just evil rarity. <laughs> With the shark teeth. Poor girl. She would have hated that. And we have pretty little Twilight. Who uh, surprisingly was not kind of characterized as being evil despite also having a horn, but whatever. Sprout's a stupid kid. Look how awesome that looks. That looks like a PC background. Yeah. And this one's even prettier. Another look at the wallpaper. <laughs> I love that so much. Another pretty little send-off picture for the girls. I don't really know who drew this or why, but it's a great art piece uh, anyway. Look how beautiful that one is with the sparkles. That's lovely. It's the Explorer. Here we have all the pictures of Sunny from development. This is obviously kind of a prototype picture for her. Would you call it a prototype? Just um, a concept? A concept, It's, it's I think. a concept, because it was before she was even a named character. She was just kind of a story role that they were dra making drawings of. This is obviously more finalized, this picture here. Yeah, they've decided on the design and they're just kind of trying it out a little, the 2D art is very adorable. Yeah, I like it. Here we have all the variations of Sonny's cutie mark all looking basically exactly the same. I mean... Who's to say which looked best there? Messy hair Sonny, which is basically like messy hair Anna from the yeah, beginning of Frozen. Yeah, I thought of that as well. They just completely copied the idea. Uh, yeah. Baby Sunny! She's so cute. I didn't actually particularly like how she looked in the film. It just looked kind of strange. The head looked too large, but in this art, she yeah. looks so much cuter. Look at that. Oh, I mean, that one right there. Kind of her and the little uh, playing ponies in the background. That's very, very good proportions. Very good, cute, yes. And there's all her little expressions there. She's super adorable. Her, her hair looks super Elsa-like here. Oh, God, yeah! Here's kind of the bare bones 3D model. Some more tests for her and her dad and how the horns work, I guess. Yeah. Just it even kind of... explains what it's made of here. It says it's made of glitter glue, cardboard, and elastic ribbon. Just to make sure that the headband kind of makes sense and how it works, I guess. Same with the fake wings, explaining that they've crafted them by hoof. This is more concept art of The Explorer. I wish Sunny. they kept the glasses. The glasses are adorable. I like the glasses. Look at that middle one. She's cute too, though. Maybe if he had reading glasses, I don't know. Now this pony here, I really like her. She looks an awful lot like Ellie from Up as a little girl. Yes, yes. With um, the little goggles and the fluffy hair. A lot of kind of 80s and 90s cartoon inventor archetypes as well. <laughs> I like the color palette better for this one though, with the all oranges instead of that purple yeah. color coming in. I mean, actually, I quite like in the top left corner, the, the, the more kind of pale, yellowy colored one that as well. apricot color, yeah. Next we have Princess Sunny. We don't know if she's a princess because she's an alicorn. Who knows how it works anymore? No. But basically, here are their ideas. They didn't end up using really any of these. They ended no. up making it made of light. Yeah, I, the thing is, they didn't make it a permanent thing, and all of these show a, a permanent thing. So the concept really was changed. It says, flowy magical hair or regular braid when not using her powers. I'm not quite sure how they would have made sense of that. Obviously in the film they decided to keep it just braided, but I love this one here with the loose hair. Here we have the prototype or 
concept images of Hitch. They're the Protector. Purple and blue. I'm really not keen on that purple color. No, especially not with his blonde hair as, as well. I'm not digging it. I don't care for that one. Here's the one with the blue hair, and I don't really like that combination either. I don't no. like the spots and I don't like the red eyes. And the purplish gray with the red eyes and the blue hair. It looks like a bad click. OC. Yeah. I like this blue one though. This is more it. Here we have all the possibilities for Hitch's fake mustache. I like the handlebar one, to be honest. It's Sprout. Some Although you wouldn't know it from just looking at the concepts. This is basically what he could have been. It looks like he could have been a lot more kind of emo looking. The Sprout we did get was a lot better put together like he does yeah. do his hair in the morning. Like we've got emo Sprout and we've got kind of Emo Hick Sprout. Some of these drawings are looking a little bit redneck. They wanted to make him originally think look quite messy in this top part here, but then they decided if you look in the bottom right corner, that's a lot closer. Yeah, they're starting to iterate towards um, neat and tidy look. Neat and tidy. And he, actually, these look more menacing, like he could be more of a serious villain than actual Sprout. <laughs> here he is with his dictator garb on, and then here's all the possible cutie marks. Now, these ones are quite different to each other. I particularly like the snail. There's a snail. There's a handcuff, there's a couple of carrots. The handcuff one regarding what we know about cutie marks and how they work from G4 would make a lot more sense. Yes. Because it looks like from his cutie mark he should be a farmer. And then here we have Dictator Sprout and what looks like basically a Granny Smith with some squirrels there for some reason. I don't get what the squirrels are about. He looks a lot more evil here, like a lot more evil. Yeah, like he would be a more legitimate threat in whatever draft of the script this was for. In the top right corner, you can see he seems to really be enjoying his power. Sprout's, Sprout's enough of a loser that he didn't get to enjoy anything. He was just panicking the whole time. Here we have Sunny in her room. Which is adorable. Look at her playing with her toys. It's so cute. More of that with a little toy spike there. Here we have inside of Sunny's house. Basically, it looked like that as well. Yeah, this is just roughly how it looks in the film. Sunny's room looking a lot more like Andy's room from Toy Story. Yeah, it's even got a little kind of height um, tracker thing on its door. I think they copied Toy Story too much with this, and I'm glad they changed it, otherwise it just looks like they ripped them off. Yeah, it looks too human-y, actually, no, as well. they've even got a Pixar-style lamp, though. His adorably doodle little scribble basically looking like, <laughs> in a nutshell, Sonny. <laughs> Here we have some of the toys and decorations from Sonny's room. Including a few books. Here's some concept art for Maritime Bay. Looking at, like a lot of the town actually goes further up uh, one of the cliffs or hills. Yeah, and it looks a lot more like Ponyville. Yeah. A lot more. Then we have some kind of almost manga looking pictures of Sunny. Yeah, and Maritime. it looks kind of like it's blocking out ideas for maybe like a song montage or something. I wish they had room. had a song though. They needed more songs. Like a Cinderella song in her room doing something, you know, something like that. Inside the crazy factory. Obviously, they put a lot of thought into it. I mean, they even got a good kind of pixelated color palette thing going on there. Here's inside the test room. <laughs> with the crash test pony. I did enjoy the look of the crash test pony. Here's a map of Maritime Bay, which kind of looks like it's the opposite way around to how it was. Um, the, yeah. Sonny's map. Because, um... Sunny's map puts it on on kind of the left side, so I think this is 90 degrees rotated. But they're showing the north is basically still at the top of this map, so I don't know what was going on there. At some point, it looks like it was going to be a Phyllis robot. I have no idea what that's about. It looks like Sprout was inside a giant robot of his mother. That's uh, seeming a little bit strange that Sprout would make a giant Phyllis to destroy stuff in instead of a giant Sprout. There was going to be a horn missile, apparently. That seems kind of weird. There's a detailed idea what the factory could have looked like. As you can see, there's a picture of Twilight's cutie mark there. I don't know what that's all about. I mean, also there's a rainbow coming out I of it. I think maybe this is meant to be like at the end of the film. I was going to say, it seems like this is kind of post-redemption transformation for the whole town. That they kind of cancelled because the end of the film is so rushed. Here's some adorable concept art for Izzy. As you can see, she was originally going to have some kind of straight hair or be more of a hippie as well. Yeah, I mean, there's only kind of small hippie stylings left in the actual Izzy. They tried a lot of different color combos as well. Yeah, one with the glasses there, the yellow is cute. I particularly like this color for Izzy. I wish they kept Izzy. to that color. Basically, if they kept the same hair as she has in the movie, but this body color, I would have really liked yeah. that. Blue Izzy is fantastic. Here's some just adorable pictures of Izzy. Very nice. Here's some expressions for this adorable little creature. Look at her. Love it. This one's perfect. 
It's a different cutie mark she's got there, though, isn't it? Oh, I think so. I mean, they tried a few different designs for everyone except Sunny, who seemed to be just the same design that they made different versions of. It's a possible version for part of Bridal Wood. It says Expo there. I don't really know what that was about. No, I don't understand either. Pretty it's building. It's more grand than anything that was in Bridal Wood in the movie. Here's some of Izzy's stuff in Izzy more detail. Izzy has a surprising amount of stuff. This basically looks like Rarity's boutique, but put into a tree. Yeah, I, is, I guess this is another concept for Izzy's house. I yeah. suppose when Bridalwood was less kind of wooden and hippie and more pretty. Here's some more possibilities for what looks like Izzy's home. It looks like it's like a lamp. It's interesting, certainly, and clearly they kind of changed how Bridalwood in general was going to look a lot while they developed the movie. Here's some concept art for Zip and Pip. I don't really care for this pinkish, reddish Zip. I think there's too much going on with yeah, the color. Yeah, it's too high saturation too much of the time. I Not much a prefer fan. the one they used in the film, whereas this version of Pip is adorable. I really like it. She looks just like Lottie from Princess and the Frog. The yeah. little hat there especially. Oh god, I love it. Yeah, I think she should have looked like that, because I like that better. With the blonde kind of the Marilyn Monroe hair as well. But what they basically did was they took that color palette and gave it to Phyllis instead. Which sucks, because Phyllis sucks. who cares about Phyllis? Here's the two sisters kind of in action about their relationship that we barely saw in the film. Look at all this time they spent developing a great dynamic between them. You can see a great dynamic just in these photos. What's sad is in these five illustrations, there's more character development than they got in the whole movie. And here's some hyper detailed pictures of Zip. I don't think they have feathers on their hooves, though. No, they cancelled that idea, but I do love the idea of it. But yeah, that looks basically like in the film, just a more detailed version, which is just awesome. Look at the amount of hair detail God, yeah, on and it. they got rid of the hoof feathers, which is a shame, but I understand for the toy Oh, they marks. got rid of her necklace, too. Oh, yeah. And then here we have Pip. She's so cute. Look at the little pose. Love it. Look at the amount of detail on her. So if you look carefully, you see the feathers on the bottom of her hooves. They're the glitter on the hooves. And then you see the wings. Look at the sparkle on the inside of that as well. Oh Everything's glittery. God. Here's some more concept art for her. As you can see, the inside of her wings was a little different here, but basically it's the same. I love the look in the pictures there. The look at the expression that she never got to have because she had like six lines. One of them was just plot device. You can win it, Sunny, and then Sunny wins it. Here we have some concept art for Zephyr Heights. As you see, it's like the canyon where they get to Zephyr Heights. There's the palace little details all around the palace. There's a lot that wasn't used. Yeah. Basically it looked like that though. Yeah, I mean, unlike Bridalwood, they did seem to nail down the look they wanted for it earlier on. The kind of 1920s art deco, semi-futuristic Olympian thing that they've got going on. Here's some more concept art of the shops there. It looks like there's some kind of aeroplane here and there's a, like a launch landing pad Yeah, thing. this was kind of the station. This is concept art for that station that Zip shows them, I guess. Yeah, but they never showed a plane. Here's some concept for the palace, I think. It didn't look anything like that in the end. No, 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 no. None of these designs. And there is the entirety of Zephyr Heights looking pretty amazing. There's some more of it with a cool view we didn't really get. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a big old establishing shot of Zephyr Heights like that. And then finally we have some miscellaneous pictures including the little animals. Look at this little the little mini armadillo dudes. There's Cloudpuff. Here's something interesting. It says two big challenges. Keep the profile recognizable from MLP and make it 3D friendly. See, they've drawn the outline there and deliberately tried to match it to G4. And cute and appealing facial expressions because with 3D characters, it can be very difficult to make them look oh, cute. Oh, God, yeah. And I, I would say they did do a fantastic job of keeping the same kind of look. If you see the side profile, they did manage it. Some more armadillos. And finally, on a random note, we have some plants. Anyway, that is all of the concept art. Let me know in the comments below what you liked best and why I particularly like that blue Izzy. That would be my favorite design. Also, blonde Pip. Blonde I did Pip, like. yeah, she's very cute. So basically just the different pony designs that are a little less purple. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more G5 videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.